you don't necessarily have to race in order to create value. What you do at the event when you're not racing, what you do in between events uh, can be valuable. There's a lot of ways that you can represent and create value for sponsors. Let's pull up Kevin Miller, President CEO of USAC. Matt Martell. Hey, Alex. How you doing, Kevin? Hey, man. And then okay, Matt, great. President CEO of Mint 400 and also the creator of uh, the first original Jim Connor videos through Mad Media, his company. And we have Dan Dennehy Rodriguez from SCCA, Sports Car Club of America. We have Dan up right on, right on. So last time around at the last summit, Matt and Kevin gave a lot of good insight and into how to activate at events. Dan is a first time panelist on this one, but Dan, I'm gonna start with you because my understanding is SCCA has 2000 annual events with 55,000 active members. And I think, uh, you know, 100,000 participants you reach in the different regions. Holy moly. How can you activate? And, and, and what are the tricks and what have you learned about what, what drivers and teams can do at these events to activate on behalf of brands they represent, their sponsors? Yeah, um, first off, huge honor to be a part of this panel. Some incredible leadership as a part of this. So it's really an honor to be amongst uh, these women and men. Um, I have a couple different thoughts that I want to share with everyone. First and foremost, um, the SCCA being one of the oldest and largest sanctions uh, within America, you know, we've got a lot of opportunity to support our producers and raise teams. And one thing that I always tell my drivers and teams whenever we're talking about sponsorship is that you need to treat the decals on your car as a celebration of the consummation of your partnership. It is the delivery of your car is not the end. It is rather the beginning and it is an invitation for your spectators and your followers to allow you to represent your brands, right? And so often when you know we look behind Alex and we see Bud on Dale Jr.'s car, right? That livery is iconic, but it also invokes emotion. It makes you, you know, align with the driver. And on a regional or, or club level, you know, you as drivers and teams have all the same opportunity to, to respond and to act as an ambassador to those brands. So um, when we talk about activation on driver and team level and club sports, you still have all the same opportunities to, to a six-year-old, a driver is a driver, and you are realizing the same dream that someone in NASCAR, IndyCar or pro sport is doing, you still have all the same opportunities. It's just a different scale. Um, some ways that I've seen activation weaponized by drivers that we've actually been able to use ourselves are uses of QR and hashtags. And the reason why I mentioned that is that although in a race weekend and whether it's circle track racing, if it's drag racing, drifting, no matter what form of motorsport we're doing, we all have a paddock area. And we all have the opportunity to use our paddock area as an asset. What do I mean? Um, one of our drivers blew my mind by using um, easily set up displays with mm -hmm. QR codes so that when you see him working on his car and you think to yourself, man, what does he have on his build? Well, he represents all of his partners using a QR code so that whenever someone comes up, he can very easily have that conversation of, oh, I use this sway bar. I use this end link. I use this product. Again, offering up um, a way to act on behalf of partners. And another thing that's also worth mentioning about activation, I think when we think of activation as teams, we think typically of the race weekend. Activation, as Vaughn was talking about, is equal parts using your personal brand, your vehicle, your team, to go out to events to support your partners. And some of the best ways to use activation as a point of ROI for a prospective partner is show up at their place of business. Hmm. Use your personal social circle to go out and support an event. Case in point, one of my own personal partners is a local brewery to me in Pittsburgh. So every time when I do my livery unveil, I do it on site. All my friends and family. Yeah, I wonder why. They, may enjoy a couple of beers, but the, the, the deal that I have with that brewery is that the, the, the cover goes to me. The beer sold 
goes to you. But that's a great way of doing a simple activation as a club racer on a personal note that any one of us could use to generate some revenue. Um, I'm really excited to hear the thoughts of others. So um, I'll let my segment end. Again, thank you very much. I suspect you spent a lot of time at that sponsor. <laughs>